The National Women's Soccer League just kicked off its 10th season with two new teams taking the field. One of them, the Angel City Football Club in Los Angeles. It was founded by actress Natalie Portman, and it is backed by a star-studded group of women investors creating the largest female lead ownership group in professional sports. They are putting an emphasis on better pay, supporting players, and, of course, winning. Jamie Yuka shows us how the team is giving women's sports a much-needed boost. A historic first goal. Marking the first time in over a decade, the City of Angels could rally behind a women's professional soccer team. Friday, 22,000 fans of all ages sporting their pink and black gear, faces, and hair filled Los Angeles's Bank of California Stadium to capacity to witness the inaugural home match of the Angel City Football Club. The club made headlines for its majority female ownership, led by some of Hollywood's biggest stars and sports legends, such as Abby Wambach, Mia Hamm, Serena Williams, and Billie Jean King. The powerhouse team of more than 100 investors is challenging the industry by giving players a cut of the money made from ticket sales, better work conditions, and training for post-playing careers. You have been fighting for equal pay in terms of women getting paid for so long. Forever. So many people fight for things in their life. Uh -huh. You're actually getting to see it happen now. What is that like? Uh, makes me really happy. and We're at a tipping point. These are a lot of the dreams coming true that I used to dream as a younger person. The club is already making player pay a priority. Hometown hero Kristen Press was the first to sign on to Angel City for a reported roughly $700,000 contract over three seasons, making her one of the highest paid athletes in the league. Do you feel like this is the first time in your career you do feel valued? In some ways, yes. This is belief in our business. This is belief that we have value. It's not charity to run a women's soccer team. It's a business. It's a business opportunity. And I think that is inherently different and it feels different. The team is looking to have investors act more like founders and engage at every level. One of those co-owners is Olympic gold medalist and gymnast Sean Johnson. Is there something that Angel City is providing its players that you wish you had when you were in gymnastics? Yes. Uh, one of the things I was most excited about, I mean, everything. I think as an athlete myself from the Olympics, I knew that USA Gymnastics as a company was using our name and likeness to profit their industry. Angel City obviously has created a business out of this to start a movement, but a lot of those profits are actually going directly to the athletes, which I think is really cool. Heavy investing in female athletes has not been the norm, but a recent World Cup win and a successful high-profile lawsuit for equal pay is helping change the game for the sport, something Angel City lead investor Alexis Ohanian noticed while watching the 2019 World Cup final with his wife, tennis star Serena Williams, and their daughter, Olympia. I obviously have my own sort of personal agenda for this because little Olympia was running around during the 2019 World Cup final in her Alex Morgan jersey. And I mentioned to my wife, like, wouldn't it be nice one day if Olympia played in the World Cup? And without missing a beat, Serena says, not until they pay her what she's worth. And I said, OK, challenge accepted. The challenge is deeply personal. Angel City. The girl dad's daughter is now a co-owner at just four years old. Why do you think women's soccer is undervalued, especially in the United States? Frankly, it's been treated as a charity. I really believe the NWSL can be more popular than the MLS. Our legacy of women's soccer in the United States is that of greatness, right? It is World Cups, it's Olympic gold medals. As we start to show the viewership numbers, the ticket sales, the sponsorship revenue, the merchandising, all that stuff, more and more people will continue to gravitate towards the greatness of the women's game. Other NWSL teams are duplicating the celebrity investment model. Tennis star Naomi Osaka invested in North Carolina Courage and the Washington Spirit are partially owned by Chelsea Clinton and Jenna Bush Hager. But to make all this work, Press says it comes down to one very basic sports concept. Where do you think it goes from here? What's the goal at the end? I think for me, the, the goal is to win. The most impactful thing we can do for the world is to win, because that's how they listen.
For CBS Mornings, Jamie Yukis, Los Angeles. Speaking of winning, it's a it's a win win when you have a new franchise and shout out to the uh, largest female led ownership group in yeah. all of sports. I, I, I hope that we see a lot more of that because, yeah. um, you know, that type of foresight saying, you know, what, we are going to change the way we look at revenue sharing with our players mm -hmm. because it will make our team a better squad. Absolutely. Yeah. Belief in the business. Yeah. Not about charity. It's about championships. And shout out to Angel City Football Club. Two to one. They beat yeah. the North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of that gameplay, you can watch the action from the NWSL's 10th season on CBS, CBS Sports Network, and Paramount Plus, including the Challenge Cup final this Saturday.